Hello, I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I got friend mail. Friend mail. I I was not expecting any packages and I live in an apartment building. So um, <laughs> sometimes packages get delivered outside the main door of the apartment building. Sometimes they get delivered right inside the door and there's a landing where apartments, you know, are downstairs, apartments upstairs. And so you just have to kind of go find your package if you were expecting one. Um, they've been delivered in front of my neighbor's doors before and occasionally they get delivered in front of my door. So yesterday mail had come and gone and I wasn't expecting anything. So I didn't go up and check the landing. I live in the downstairs. And um, last night I went out to put a load of laundry in. And if you guys are watching my, everything unfroze, nothing burst. So the pipes out there in the laundry room are good now. And we'll just have to remember to keep it warm because we're so cold right now here in Ohio. Um, but I went out to switch laundry and about tripped over three boxes sitting in front of my door. And I'm like, what are these? I, I wasn't expecting packages today. Did I buy something I don't remember? And um, I brought them in and the first box was from Tiger. And I'm like, I know I didn't purchase anything from Tiger because I haven't been able to, I pop in and out, but I've been busy every afternoon Tiger's had a sale lately. So I was like, I didn't purchase anything from Tiger. That's strange. And then um, one of the boxes was from Bridget, the Baker's Daughters LLC. I did know she was sending me something, but it came so fast I hadn't realized that um, it was already here. And the other one was from uh, Barbie, Punk Funkin' Junk Barbie. So, um, you know, I've been preaching to everybody, let your packages come up to room temperature so nothing inside cracks or breaks. And so I couldn't open them last night. I had to go to bed not knowing what was in these packages. First thing I did this morning, as my coffee is making, is I opened the package from Tiger because I'm like, I know I did not order anything from Tiger. And so, you guys, Picasso Cat bought me this. Isn't that gorgeous? Bought me that and had Tiger send it to me. <gasps> I don't have one. I knew they existed, but I've never seen one. I'm so excited. So this is going to be a bedroom swan because if you follow me, you know I have swans in every single room. But I love these powder dishes, the, the um, lipstick holder right here. Like, oh. And it's big, it's, oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. I did not see her buy this, or if I did, I don't remember, but I don't think I was on Tiger Sale when she bought this. I, I love it. I like, I'm just speechless. I love it. My niece collects carnival glass, so you can't have it. She. When you watch this video, you can't steal this from me. I love this. So this is going into my bedroom. And I just want to mention how cute. Oh, and I dropped it. Hang on a second. How cute the packaging is. And I, I do, when you send out your packages, if you are another reseller, I absolutely do not expect fancy little touches. If you have wrapped it securely and it has gotten to me unbroken, uh, that's all I'm asking. I am super grateful for that. I don't expect anything more than that. Like, I just want it to arrive safely. But when you do these little extra things, oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. So, Tiger, it's securely, in all three packages I opened, securely wrapped. I reuse everything. So, if you sent a ribbon, if you sent bubble wrap, if you sent packing paper, I reuse it all. The only thing that I may not reuse is the um, the the packing peanuts because my one cat loves them and she steals them and destroys them and then I've got to sweep them all over the house. But as long as she doesn't steal them, I reuse them, but she loves the packing peanuts. So covering everything was this napkin, this, got to say, this nautical napkin. How fun is that? And then Tiger put in 
a recipe. I'm not even, not even going to try and say that. So there's a recipe in German. Half, and I save all of these. And I'm not a crafty type of person, but I think I will be doing a project with all of the little package toppers that people send me. I love them. And then here is Tiger's card. And on the back, it says, Kathy slash Picasso Cat sent this to you. Enjoy. Keep it real, Tiger. Totally cool, Tiger. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So then the next package. Now, I was aware that I was getting this one, but honestly, I'd forgotten. So the packaging was wrapped in ribbon, which I will reuse. And Barbie had put this on the tape. And then there was a heart too. And I don't know where the heart went. Somewhere I dropped it in the excitedly opening things this morning. And then she sent some candy. Love, love, love that. And I'm gonna eat it all. And then Helen Booty, the New England thrifter, bought this for me. Now I was on the sale. I was aware she bought it for me. I forgot, but I had no idea that it was this big or this amazing. The detail on the, the feet, the curve of the neck, like it, cause it comes over to this <gasps> and I don't have a yellow one. So whoo, this is amazing amazing and I'm about to be doing a um a big move in the apartment and I'm probably gonna film some of that edit it together and um do a video but the the spare bedroom which I've been using because I'm I don't know if you guys know I've mentioned it before but I'm a licensed massage therapist I've been licensed for 18 years I was doing it full-time for the past 10 and um 2020 kind of killed my business. I would, I've been limping along. I started doing this because I loved it, but now I'm thinking maybe this is what I want to do instead of trying to rebuild a business when the pandemic is still going on. So that room has been very peaceful blue green with just the tiniest bit of yellow in the curtains. And so it's very calming, very relaxing. And I'm going to keep that theme when I move all of my resale business into that room. So this will be going into that room. Oh my goodness, I, I love it. I can't get over how big it is. I absolutely adore this. So that was sent by Barbie, but purchased by New England Thrifter. I love it, Helen, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. And how crazy is it that I got all three packages on the same day. I crazy. So then um, Bridget always does also a beautiful job wrapping. So um, there were two ribbons wrapping each package and she sent this as a thank you. And it says right there, thank you, Bridget. Her handwriting, holy cow. Her handwriting is amazing. And um, she sent this as a thank you because I had another sale with her. I had her on my channel and um, she really shouldn't, but I love it. Love it. So um, sent this little card that says, thank you, Claudia Bridget. It says snowflakes are one of nature's most fragile things, but just look at what they can do when they stick together. They can bring the world to a stop when they stick together, at least here in Ohio. And then one kind word can warm three winter months. I love this. And um, she always sends, I think it's her grandma's, her mom's or her grandma's um, recipe. Look at this paper. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. She makes me need to make me want to up my game on things that I send out. But I sent the recipe. And uh, that little one kind word, that'll be going on my fridge or bulletin board just to remind me this winter because I do not like winter look at these look oh oh they're tiny poodles tiny poodles I don't have any poodles well I do have one I have a Wade Whimsy poodle so that one is tiny but you know as far as porcelain 
I don't. These two are bisque. The white ones are bisque. So I adore this Bridget. I, I love them so much. And then because I always have coffee on my Wednesday morning um, sale, she sent me this, look, this gorgeous false graph mug that says hope. And let me tell you guys, making a big decision, like going full-time reselling, which I'm not 100% there yet, but I am taking a hiatus from massage for the month of February, and I'm I'm going to move that room around and just move everything in there and just see how it feels. And I'll be looking at um, listing bigger or more expensive items on eBay and Mercari, because um, you can cross post and... Um, We'll see how it goes. We'll see how February goes. But this will also give me the time to um, get more videos out and show you some of my personal collections, things I've put together, and I'm super excited about all of it. So 2022, it's going to be a big year for me. So hope is just perfect. The kind words, the message that I'm kind of speechless, you guys. I, I did not expect, see, uh, I did not expect to make such good friends. You guys are awesome. I love this community. It makes me happy. I love what I do here. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tiger and Barbie for having the sales. Thank you, Kathy and Helen for buying me the items. And Bridget, thank you for coming along with me and for sending me thank you gifts. So I love it all. I hope you guys are having a great day. And remember, we're all a little cranky because at least up here where we are, super cold, super snowy. Schools were canceled again here today. And um, everybody's a little bit, a little bit cranky. So be kind. Take that extra extra thought and that extra minute to not respond with the nastiness that maybe somebody is giving you on the phone or at the drive through or wherever. And instead say, man, it has just been rough, hasn't it? 2022 did not start out the way that we were hoping it would. Things have been tough. I hope you have a better day. And I hope you have a better day. Be kind. It doesn't cost you anything. And it may mean everything to someone else. 